Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm upstairs, that's why the roof is kinda coming down on me. But um, I'm trying to be quiet because my husband and daughter are asleep. Probably still visiting family. But I need to wrap presents. So I thought I would, um, sorry I'm whispering, but I don't wanna wake them up. Cause her presents are up here and all she has to do is run up here and she'll see it all. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to wrap some presents tonight. It's already like midnight. Who starts wrapping presents at midnight? Only me. Only me. But um, I wanted to show you what I got at Bargain Hunt because I have some things in there that I need to give away and put away and wrap. So I can't really do that until I do this haul. So let me show you what I got from Bargain Hunt and then we will get to wrapping. I got was this jacket and this was seven dollars and this is by authentic oh this is by abercrombie and fitch it's a small just little tan jacket it was so cute me and my nine-year-old can share this now that we can share clothes i know we can't share pants yet but we can share tops and things like that okay next i got this phone case this is by Lot L-A-U-T, haven't heard of them. Um, this is for the Galaxy S7, which is what I have, and it's just a pink phone case, durable and scratch resistant with two screen protectors included. And yeah, I just, I needed a new phone case, and this one was only $5, so thought it was worth it. Next, don't tell Wes, but I got him this Bushnell Outdoors battery bar portable battery power on demand so it's just a battery charger and this one is for outdoors it has it says performance mp3 three player two times smartphone one time action cam two and a half times so he can charge his um phone and his GoPro with this if he's out and about and needs to charge it. Um, it says lightweight yet rugged protective case, dependable high capacity lithium ion battery, onboard battery gauge and simple operation. And this one was $10. Okay. Next I got some 7th generation natural care, or no not natural care. 7th generation free and clear or certified organic cotton tampons. These are the leak free protection, zero fragrance, deodorant, or chlorine processing, and there are 16 super sized tampons in here. And let's see. I don't see where it says cruelty free, but you know. I don't I don't know that anybody tests tampons on animals. Hopefully not. Okay, the next thing I found were the Baby Gannix hand and face wipes, and these are fragrance-free, extra gentle, plant-based ingredients, non-allergenic, pediatrician and dermatologist tested, no parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, or fragrances. Oh, my nose itches. And it has Neo Nourish Natural Seed Oil Blend. This was $1, and these are usually like $5 a pack and um are like four or five dollars a pack and these are there are 30 wipes in here i don't think that they are completely organic they don't have the usda organic seal but the ingredients look all natural so that's good okay next i picked up some things for our foster kids we are still buying things to prepare because we are willing to take any age but teenage boys so I got these giggle short sleeve baby body suit sets and these are just some white onesies that could work for a boy or a girl um, it says compare at $13 I got these for $7 and it just says short sleeve kimono body suit and there are two in here I got this for Wes. I just got him some Bulldog deodorant from Grove Collaborative. And then I saw this and recognized the um, brand. 
I just realized that this is broken and it looks like some has been squeezed out so that stinks but this is the bulldog skincare for men original shave gel with aloe camelina and green tea with natural ingredients and this was two dollars um and it says compare at seven and it was on sale so yeah thought this was a great find the next thing i found was the stila smudge pot waterproof gel eyeliner I haven't opened it up yet to see if it's dried out. I hope it's not. This is the shade Black. This is normally like $20 a pot, and I got this one for $12. Actually needing some gel liner because all of mine were dried up. And this one's not dried up, yay. I did just watch it myself, so. I only used gel liner, and then I went to liquid eyeliner pens once I tried the Kat Von D one so I want to go back to gel just because I love the way it turned out. Yeah. Got a few more things for the foster kids. These are just some washcloths and they have turtles on them and these are the um, what brand is this? I'm not sure what brand this is. I hate that about Bargain Hunt. Their stickers usually cover up most of the packaging and the tags so it's hard to tell. I don't know it just says baby six pack turtle print light weight other baby it starts maybe it's Serco I don't know but it has a little turtle on it and I just thought that was adorable y'all know I love turtles right and lastly I got myself some sweaters and this first one is just black and gray and red and it was seven dollars and this is by Marona and then I got this Roxy sweater and this is just a cream colored mesh sweater And this one was also $7. I believe that's everything for my bargain hunt haul. I do have one more thing to show you. I got these um, personal alarms on Amazon after my encounter at bargain hunt. And I also got this purple one. I got this one for my friends and family and I'll probably order some more to give away to them. Like, all, like my sisters and my close friends. And then I got this purple one for myself. I do already have one for my daughter. But I thought this one was really pretty and I love purple. So. And this one also has a light on it. That is my haul. I've got to get to wrapping these presents before my little one wakes up and sees them.